Let's talk about the men's 100 meters. The men's 100 meters, this is going to be another cracker at the Olympic Games. And the Americans have seen victory many occasions, but they haven't seen victory in the 100 meters for what, 20 years now. Uh, the last time they won an uh, Olympic 100-meter title was way back in 2004 in Athens when Justin Gathlin uh, won it ahead of uh, the the Portuguese guy. His name is slipping me right now. I'm looking at his face. And Maurice Green had come um, third. And uh, Francis Obikwele. Yeah. And since then, it's been Jamaica, 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 thanks to the great man Usain Bolt. And in 2021, when we went to Tokyo and in the absence of the great man, Marcel Lamont Jacobs decided to, to take the gold medal. And so, again, it's been a long time. And so this time, I really think that there has been a fundamental shift. There's been uh, a thought process that maybe it's time for USA to take it again. And everybody is going for, for Noah Lyles. In, in many circles, you're seeing this. I mean, and, you know, we must give props where it's due. He's the reigning world champion in 100 and 200 meters. But the Jamaicans are back in the party in some interesting ways. And I won't beat around the bush on this. I'll try to explain this as best as I can. I'll be honest with you. I can't see anybody else winning this but Kishen Thompson if he shows the same type of form that he showed at the Jamaica National Championships when he shut down and still managed to run 977. So if he does that, if he's in that kind of form or better, I don't think anyone's catching him and he'll likely win the gold medal. I don't anticipate him having enough time to look around, but I think he he should be impressive enough to do that. The question here in terms of where the medals also go is, I think, might come through Oblique Seville, which is an interesting thing. If he can regain that form, if he can deliver one of those another irreverent performance like they did at the Racers Grand Prix when he was also giving the side eye to Noah Lyles, then things could be very interesting. I don't really know what we'll get from Seville now. I mean, there's been reports since the end of the Jamaica Championships there that he felt something. And, you know, you all saw the pictures in on social media recently when he went to see the famous... German doctor there. There's new reports coming out of the out of the training camp that uh, Glenn Mills is is happy to see him back. Thinks he'll be ready, but I don't know what kind of shape he'll be in. He he'll be in. I suspect that if he was building on where he was the last time, it's quite possibly you could see two Jamaicans on the podium. But I don't know. I mean, that's 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 an interesting one there. Uh, and then it comes down to the bronze medal for me. It's hard to deny Lyles off the podium. It's really hard to do that. I mean, he, he has the ability to chase down people. It's about an execution for him. I mean, he looked really good last week at the London Diamond League. You know, Lyles decided to stay home and not go to Monaco and did extra training. And he went to the Diamond League and... He won really well in a, in a top quality field. I'd included the likes of Alessi Litobogo. And, you know, it's clearly in sub 9.8 shape for sure. So, you know, you're getting a super fast athlete as well there. But there's a lot of athletes that we have to kind of consider. And it won't be really easy for these medals, I don't think. I mean, you have the likes of a Fred Curley, Akini Sambini, Tobogo himself. I think Tobogo, you shouldn't sleep on. I also think he could make his way on the podium. Then you have people like Kung Fu, Kenny, Bednarak. There is Ferdinand Omanyalo. And then you go back to the defending champion, uh, Lamont Jacobs, who's there. He's gone sub-10 this season. I don't know if he's going to challenge in any serious way for a medal. Andre de Grasse. I mean, there are some people there that you can't really sleep on. You know, If I had to really predict and if I trust that Oblique Seville is in good shape, if he can be in good shape, then it's funny. I think two Jamaicans will find him where on the podium this time. And I think it has to be the year for Oblique. You know, he's le- he has to learn from not getting on the podium in the last two world championships. But, you know, it's hard. I, so for me, it's probably Thompson, depending on the type of shape that 
oblique finds himself in he could be on the podium in a silver medal spot or a bronze medal spot uh you know maybe sandwiched by Noah Lyles depending on what's happening there I think Toboga could really pull a big surprise here and get on the podium it's just really hard hard to know for sure I guess we'll get to see 